Oh, hey. What took you guys so long at the heart doctors? Oh, let me guess. You had to call in a specialist just to find Dad's tiny heart. <laughs> you know, we could call in a specialist to find my foot in your ass. We're gonna need an ass footologist, stat. Your father's blood pressure is still high, and the doctor can't figure out why. So he wants to send some moron over to find the source of my stress. And I said, the source of my stress is when you quacks try to pad my medical bill. And then the machine went beep and the appointment was over. You know, I don't know what you're so worried about. They're just gonna blame me. Shrinks love to blame the wife. What do they know? They're barely doctors. The stuffed animal box of tissues could do their job. Why is Red so stressed? <gasps> it's a mystery. Just like when Nancy Drew had to figure out why the man in the clock tower was so mean to his cat. And what'd she find out? Oh, I don't know. Books are too long. Hey, what's going on? Dude, we're on TV. Does this thing work? Hey, Steven, point it at me. Good morning, Dallas. I'm Jackie Sunshine with your morning weather. It is going to be sunny today. So you ladies who let yourself go this winter, stay inside. Leave the fellas to us pretty girls. Please stop touching my camera. Man, I thought Simpson was different. She's supposed to just be my buddy. Now I'm gonna have to sleep with her. No, Michael, no. Set her up with Fez. He's the one who likes her. Fez needs something, man. The guy's so desperate, he's been rubbing himself around on the couch like a cat. What you need to do is put him together in a romantic situation. Susie might not like Fez at first, but he won't take no for an answer. He's like one freaky, horny little dude. Just ask the couch. And then, my dad actually gave me a compliment. My son's a fine young man. That's like the most loving thing he said to me since he told me that I could be worse. Are you sure Red was talking about you? I mean, I love you, but you are a little high maintenance. And not in a good way like me. Remember when it took Red all summer to teach you how to catch a ball because you're too scared of it? First, Red had him look at a picture of a ball. Then he put him in a room with a ball, and then he moves him closer until he wasn't screaming being right next to the ball. What is so scary about a ball? It's the... <laughs> people throw it right at you, okay? Kelso. So, this is where you go after a hard day of screwing me over. All right. Look, Fez, I'm really sorry. Sip it, fool. <laughs> you stole my girl, and I really need a girl. Here, Fez, you're probably gonna want some personal time with the couch. <laughs> I even plumped up the pillows for you. No, I cannot be in the same room with him. You and I are through. Now, good day. <laughs> but Fez, He said, but Fez. Oh, I heard him. <laughs> well, now you're supposed to say, I say good day. Yeah, and then we all know that you're really mad, but eventually you'll get over it. Oh, you like that. Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> oh, Kelso, this monkey don't dance no more. But Fez. I said good day. <laughs> 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 